Hello everybody and welcome to the Galactic Empire. Uh, this is a quick demo of uh, my new BLtronics E11 blaster board, uh, purely designed to make installation of electronics into blasters a lot easier. Um, this basically consists of the BLtronics board. Um, this basically has um, all the resistors in place and you basically put on your uh, Arduino Nano, your PAM8403 amplifier, your DF player with the SD card. Now I use JST connectors because it just makes life a lot easier uh, for connecting all the components. Uh, I use 18650 batteries to power my blasters. Um, WS28212B uh, NeoPixel strips. Now obviously this is a lot smaller. Uh, the barrel normally has about 25 LEDs in and I also use a single WS28212B LED for the fire LED. Uh, just makes life a lot easier. Um, a 0 0.91 inch uh, OLED screen. Uh, basically four buttons. You have your trigger fire button, you have your weapon select button, your reload button and your laser LED on and off switch. Uh, this is the a red dot laser LED and also have a magazine detection switch. Now I use either a lever switch or a read magnetic switch in the magazine so it detects whether it's in or out. You can have one or two speakers. Uh, as I say, they're all connected to the board. So basically this fits inside the barrel and then you just run your switches and your components to where they need to be with wires. So let's, these boards are not soldered in, they're just pushed into the hole. So bear with me if we get a loose connection, but let's reset. I normally put these. I normally mount the, these components <laughs> on headers purely and simply because it makes life a lot easier if uh, you get a problem with the board you can just whop it out really easily. So basically you've got the display on the screen, you saw the startup, um, it's displaying that we're on the E11 blaster and we have an ammo count of 20. Counter goes down as you fire, I have no rapid fire, it's just all single shots. It won't do anything if you hold the button down. It's something I'm looking into trying to do. So zero, it's showing we're empty. Empty ammo sound. All pretty much the same on all the weapons. Uh, to reload, hit the reload button. I have the reload button actually on the Hengsler where I have my little low LED screen. So change the weapon, now display Stun Blaster. Again, attack. Bob of Flame. Bowcaster. X-Wing. TIE Fighter, 0.44 Magnum, K98 Mauser, again shows empty, different reload sound, some have got different ones. So, Uzi machine gun, counts down in five. It's a five shot burst, or a three shot burst, but it goes down in five. Select again theme tracks or theme music uh, basically you can have any tracks that you want um, I think I've only got four on here but you can put more
each trigger press plays the next track. Uh, obviously E11, Stormtrooper Blaster, so I've got Stormtrooper Phrases, again plays them in sequence as they are on the SD card. If you hold the select button down for about four seconds, it goes into radio mode. Our garrisons, be advised, DT-419 is now online. It's quite a long loop. Um, basically, it's ideal for playing if you're out trooping or whatever. Uh, it plays in the background. There are lots of spaces of silence, and all of a sudden you will get a radio messages come through. Uh, pushing any button will basically disable it. So if you go fire... That's it now off because we're on Stormtrooper phrases. Select again and we're back to the E11 blaster. LED red dot laser sight. I mount these inside the scope. Um, laser sight activated. There you go. Laser sight is activated. Laser sight deactivated. And deactivated. Mag is inserted. Now normally, as I say, I, I use a lever switch or a reed switch. Um, I'm not going to sit here and hold uh, a lever switch in, so I've got a latching switch on at the moment. But if I was to take like the magazine out and break the connection, you get a warning weapon error and it displays on the screen that you need to insert your clip. Insert the clip. You get a noise to say the clip's inserted and you're away. So basically, uh, the only other things that I actually add on is I put a small um, on and off switch, uh, which is concealed on the blaster, and uh, a USB recharge port for recharging the battery. Um, but basically that is all that needs to go inside the blaster. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the link. I think it's below. Um, and hope to see you all again soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.